welcome back everyone so in the first video we created a VPS and we got SSH access into that server in this video we are going to install nginx a web server and we are going to host a simple HTML static web page in our server first thing before we start is to make sure that we have a domain name for our website and it is correctly pointed to our web server to obtain a domain name we can use a service like GoDaddy, Epic or Namecheap. For today's tutorial session, I'm going to use a free domain name from freenom.com. After acquiring a domain, we need to go to the DNS management section. Uh, this will be different for each service provider. Uh, here in Freenom, uh, we can go to the DNS management section and then we can add our DNS record uh, with the corresponding IP address. The first record we are going to add is uh, for our root domain. I'm going to copy the domain. We can add it in the name section and then uh, we can add the IP address in the target section. After that we can save changes. It will take some time to update the DNS record. Now it is done. We can see the record added successfully message. The next thing we need to do is add the, the www.domain. We can add that using here we can define the name as www and then we can add the same IP address. Okay, now we correctly pointed our root domain and the www domain to our web server uh, public IP address. Okay, now we can log back into our VPS and start installing our web server package. We can use the earlier credentials to log back into the VPS server. After successfully login, the first thing we need to make sure is our package repository is up to date. We can run the sudo apt update command to update the repository. After that, uh, we need to install our web server package, uh, which is called nginx. We can use the command sudo apt install engine next to install the web server after installing the engine next package we can make sure if it is running by navigating to our domain name Here, if it is correctly installed, we will be greeted with the Welcome to Nginx default web page. Now we can start building our own web page and host it in our web server. From this point forward, I'm going to use this tutorial article to make it easy to copy and paste the command, and this will be linked in the description. First, we are going to create a folder in our server to host the HTML file. I'm going to copy this command and we will be changing the your domain into our own domain. Okay. And also, we need to make sure that the ownership of this directory is uh, only for the current user to do that uh, we are going to ch on the directory by using this command and again we need to replace the your domain with our own domain and also we need to make sure that only the owner of this folder is able to 
uh, read and write the content. To do that, uh, we are going to use this command. Now we can start uh, creating the web page. Uh, we are going to use the nano text editor uh, and we will just create the index.html file. Since this is a sample page, I am going to use the same content as the article. After adding the index.html file, we can save the changes using Ctrl plus X key and then we can save the modified file. Okay, uh, now we are going to configure Nginx to use this uh, server domain. Here also make sure that uh, your domain is changed into the uh, corresponding correct domain name. We can also copy and paste this. Uh, here the server name part uh, should be our domain and then uh, www dot followed by our domain. Then we can save the file. Uh, we created this web page uh, and now we need to enable the web page. To do that, we can use this command. This is going to make a symbolic link in the sites enabled directory from the sites available directory. Here, uh, this part is optional. Uh, if we have a long server name, uh, we need to make sure that our server name hash bucket size is greater than the default size. Uh, we can do this by editing the nginx config file. And we need to uncomment the line uh, server name hash bucket. We can just delete the hash symbol to uncomment the line and then save the file. Okay, after that, uh, we need to make sure our Nginx configuration file is uh, free of syntax errors. We can do this by running the uh, sudo nginx with the uh, test flag. Here, as we can see, our configuration file is free of error. Now, we can revisit our web page to see if it is working. Okay, uh, we get a 404 error. Uh, this means there is something wrong with our Nginx configuration file. Uh, we can recheck this file. Uh, if we go to the previous command, uh, we can see that uh, we did not edit the our directory name correctly. So I am going to fix that mis mistake. And then uh, again save the file. We can recheck for any syntax errors. 
and then uh, we can restart the nginx server okay now, now when we reload the page we can see our server block is correctly uh, displayed in the web browser now uh, we have a working web page but as you can see the padlock sign in the browser uh, is showing this as an insecure site uh, this is because we did not configure ssl into our web server in the follow-up video uh, we are going to install third bot and we are going to uh, fix this insecure message 